The only disadvantage I find in editing with DaVinci Resolve is the lack of various presets and templates that you can find with say something like Premiere Pro or After Effects. That's where Avato elements come in. I've been using a free account for about a year or so, but about two, three months back, I upgraded to a paid license subscription. Avato elements have recently had a uh, uptake in various elements and presets. They have almost 300 and I think 60 presets they have now or templates that you can use devoted strictly to the venture resolve that's on top of them already having a crap ton of stock videos royalty free music stock photos and everything else they have on the website i'll put a link to the vato's elements in the pinned comment down below make sure you check your description as well for other assets that you can use for your video editing needs let's get this out of the way now off the bat yes you can create a free account now what did you get in that free account let's check it out with the free account you get 12 free video files every month so make sure you use those video downloads wisely. You can also save your assets into your own collection. Now, as you can see, the free account doesn't give you much, but it does the 12 free downloads. If you're not pumping out a lot of projects, that's more than enough for you. But if you want to do more or get more out of it, make sure you subscribe. A subscription runs you about $16.50 a month, but the catch is that $16.50 only applies if you pay for the whole year in advance. So if you want to do month to month where you can kind of download assets as you need, it's $33 a month, which is still not bad for what all you get within the content. Right now, I'm gonna actually go through and show you at least, I think two or three different templates and presets that I've downloaded and used in my projects that I've actually used in past videos too. So let's get into it. After you restore the project or import it, however you wanna do it, it, it gives you a walkthrough of how to do it actually in the folder too. You're gonna to copy that folder and actually paste it into the project that you want to use the transition in. As you can see here, you have, uh, wait a minute, go back. Go into front of the render. Yeah, you got 11 transitions you can use. We're just gonna take transition one, drag and drop it. Now you wanna make sure you leave a uh, gap of space in between the clips that you're gonna transition to because you're actually gonna move one of the clips up above the other and stack them on top of one another. You hit control B, there you do your cut. You just want the, the, the part of the video that's actually gonna transition. As we go into the edit tab, and you're gonna hit the corresponding folder that goes with the transition you use. So transition one, folder one. And you're gonna copy the clips and actually place them on the placeholder that's within those files. So you hit copy, shot one. Actually, you just double click it. And then you'll go over there to the timeline and paste it. And you see it fills it in. And you might get the little placeholder hanging off on the end, just delete it and go to the shot too. You actually go back to your timeline, click your uh, clip, copy again, shot two, same thing, paste. Again, cut off the clip on the, uh, the end of the clip, go back, and you want to give it a minute to render. So I'm going to go to playback and uh, change the quarter resolution and get the playback a little quicker. You can kind of see the beginnings over there, but give it time to render, add a good sound effect, and you got a good transition. This is actually one of the opening sequences. It takes a little while to get it rendered and everything. Here's a sneak peek of it. And it actually downloads the folder with the music and everything all in one file, on one file, I'm sorry. So I got it booted up here in DaVinci Resolve. It's actually loading. Oh, sorry about that. Let me cut the sound off it's rendering everything but as you can see here it actually just shows numbers those are the placeholders so basically you'll go through on your timeline let's go to slot media 2 and basically you will place a jpeg or a video or whatever you got there so i'm actually going to drop some stuff in and then show you the final render now for the demonstration i'm just going to be using uh photos that I downloaded from Vato Elements. When you drop one in, make sure it's the same length. You actually just stretch it out and then mute this one. Just make sure, you know, keep it coherent. 
Just mute the uh the default. All right, now I dropped all the files that I'm gonna drop. I didn't fill out the whole project. And it's actually a black bar that comes up in, in the middle of some of the pictures because that's where your text goes. You can edit that as well, get rid of it completely just to show your photos or your video or fill in the text however you want to, but it's just a little small demo. See your text goes there in the black bar. Kind of a preview to show you what it looks like a good quick way to create your own opener like say you fill it in with your own photos and videos and text and you can customize it to your liking takes like five six minutes maybe takes 15 20 minutes for it to render depending on your computer and that's just two projects just to kind of scratch the surface of what all they uh, have available as you can see actually it says you found 374 here which down here it says 367 it takes a little minute for it to update and all that other stuff you got uh, content is guaranteed at 4k you can actually change the resolution as you want if you want to the 2k 1080p you know basically whatever your PC can handle uh, it actually gives you a number of other projects that are available 720p 1080p 2k 4k so you got 63 at 4k they do guarantee the highest quality uh, available for those particular projects and it's, it's just literally scratching the surface if you look up here at the top, you actually got stock video, motion graphics, all that, video templates, music, sound effects, graphic templates, graphics, uh, photo. I mean, it's a bunch of stuff. Actually, I think one of these has Photoshop uh, add-ons. Add yeah, so if you use Photoshop, which I just recently re-downloaded, it has brushes and uh, presets for you for Photoshop. So it may it offers a little bit of everything. There's more categories over here. Have WordPress, uh, WordPress templates for websites. Some of everything for, so for what they offer, I stand behind the product. I say is actually worth the month's subscription, but feel free to click the link below and start your free uh, account, to get you started. And I think that's pretty much gonna be it. Check the pinned comment for a link to Avato Elements and be sure to check the description for links to other various websites with digital assets that you can use for your video edit. So that's been the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. And if you would, take some time to express your mind in the comment line and I'll holler at you next time.